Hi class, welcome back. We have covered the three types of tissues and now we're going to talk about the fourth. So we covered epithelial tissue, we did connective tissue, we did muscle tissue. Let's talk about the neural system. In the neural system, we have two types of main cells. One's called neuron and the other is called neuro glial cells or neuroglial. Neuro means nerve, glial means glue, nerve glue. The one that we're focusing on here in this picture is called the neuron. It's the only one that's electrically excitable. If you look at the arrow on top, it shows the direction that the message is traveling. So it's going from here, it's going to work its way down to the very end. So the branches that we see coming off of the soma or the cell body, these branches are called dendrites. All of these are dendrites, they're branches. Dendra in Greek means tree or branches of a tree. You see the nucleus, you see the cell body. Cell body is also known as soma. And then we have this extension called an axon. Now at the end of the axon, just like at the end of the airport, you go to the terminal to catch a plane. At the very end, we have axon terminals. And right at the very end of the axon terminal, they're called synaptic end bulbs. Synaptic end bulbs. So if I take that and I blow it up, it's just going to look like that at the very end. And the synaptic end bulb is going to store different proteins. And the proteins that are stored right here at the ends are called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters. Now, the ones that we're going to be focusing on in another week when we get into muscle, that big neurotransmitter is called acetylcholine, ACH, acetylcholine. So the dendrites receive or are sending information into the cell body and the nucleus, and then the cell body sends the information away through an axon this dilated part of the axon right there is called an axon hillock. This part right here, this is the axon. And is the axon terminal and the very tip of the axon terminal, that's what we call the synaptic end bulb, which stores neurotransmitters. Since we're covering muscles in an upcoming week, I'm just going to draw this out here because it's going to be coming up soon. The synaptic end bulbs are going to communicate with muscle. This is striated muscle. And the nerve connects with the muscle and where it connects, they call that the neuromuscular junction or the NMJ, the neuromuscular junction. So how does this muscle contract? There has to be a neurotransmitter communicating with it to tell it to contract, and that neurotransmitter is called acetylcholine. Again, the main parts, dendrites, cell body, axon, axon terminal, and at the very end, the synaptic end bulbs. Now, notice that the axon is covered by myelin sheath. There is a type of neuroglial cell that's called a Schwann cell. And a Schwann cell, one of these is a Schwann cell, this is a Schwann cell, and this is a Schwann cell, and the Schwann cells produce myelin. What is myelin? Myelin is like an insulator. It insulates the axon so that the electrical conduction 
or the electrical current can go from the cell body all the way down to the axon terminal super quick. The myelin is fat and cholesterol. Fat and cholesterol. Now, we need the myelin to create fast, rapid forms of communication of electrical conduction. But there is an autoimmune condition in which your body can attack the Schwann cells so that you can't produce myelin. That disease is called MS, multiple sclerosis. When you don't have the myelin sheath, the conduction of the electrical current is decreased. Okay, when we come back, we'll get into a tissue review.